Hello, my name is Michael Yeager. This uh, discussion is on Healing Touch, one of the many courses available through home study that are offered. I really, really expanded how I see people and did therapy when I learned about the um, energy psychology and aspects of Healing Touch. <clears throat> it has been used in the field of nursing for a long time. So the course will deal with the history of energy oriented healing. And I had, when I first started, I had some struggles with this because I was Western trained and didn't really understand energy orientation or healing or anything else. I just would talk to them and they'll change kind of thing. And so this in 89 is when I got into this and really altered, flipped how I did therapy from then on. Uh, it's, it's a number of years now. Um, the uh, text will also, of course, will also take you through some, um, a number of uh, energy medicine research that's been available. Uh, also talks about the human energy field and the chakras and their functions. And I'll say this, that when I started to pay real close attention to these two aspects here and would watch clients, how they would talk, how they would hold their bodies, how they would speak, where they would have physical problems, um, when they talked about emotional pains. It really gave me a tremendous amount of knowledge to work more effectively with them by asking questions specific to the area of the body where the pain, emotional pain was, and that. And it really gave them some insight into what was going on to them. Then there'll also be discussion of assessing and identifying patterns in the energy field. And uh, so it's really marvelous in that respect. It'll also talk about basic tools censoring and assessment, why that's necessary to basically help the therapist get centered in where they are and uh, work from uh, assessing problems from that perspective gives you much more realistic and uh, specific uh, reality of what's going on with the person. There's full body techniques. And again, none of this involves touching. Uh, they don't have to be laying down. They have, if you have a massage table, that's great. If not, they can be sitting, that's okay. You don't have to be uh, close to their body. It's helpful, but as you get more sensitive, you can read it from across the room just by learning to become sensitive to the energy. There'll be uh, a discussion of localized and specific techniques, also specific interventions and bridges with medical and clinical settings, and also interfaces with body-oriented therapies. So becoming a mind-body therapist is what you would be learning to become, uh, which helps you out tremendously with all kinds of clients. So I would want to thank you for watching. Go to the website in order to place an order. And just remind you, I've been in the field since 73. So I've been here a long time and seen a lot of different things. And this, like I say, really opened me up a lot uh, from 1989 until now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.